And they normally, this, this late in the season, they normally shoot and do things pretty consistent with what they've done all year long. Uh, this team comes in shooting, I think, 36, 37% from three, which is really, really, really good. But I thought that they had the right uh, chemistry. I thought that they had the right game plan. They were extremely patient on the offensive end. Uh, they we worked worst the ball two, three, sometimes four times. And we would have done a pretty good job defensively, maybe for 21 seconds. But uh, because of their discipline and their attention to detail in terms of how they wanted to execute their game plan, there's always someone to fly open and uh, knock down a three. Um, on the offensive end, we, just, we scored 76 points. You know, that's, that's, that's enough for you to win the game. But defensively, uh, I, I thought that they were on point with the execution. And I thought that, and and they shot exceptionally well. That means that they were focused, uh, they were confident, and they they believed in their game plan. Uh, we had a hard time. We had we had the same high percentage three point attempts, but I was, we missed ours and they made theirs, and it looked like from a statistical standpoint that made the difference in the game. Leonard, there were a couple times in the second half where it seemed like it was getting away from you guys, 11 point lead, 12 point lead for them. Each time you fought back, you got it within two twice. Do you like, I know losses are losses, do you like the fight you're seeing from this group of guys when the going gets tough a little bit? I, I think we improved. There's no doubt about that. But, um, you, you know, you have to sustain that effort when you play against a team like Virginia, who have, for years and years have always been an a, a execution team. And unfortunately, in the ACC, you can't afford to play 30 minutes of a game. And you got to be, you can't take any possessions off because every team in our league will be capable of, of being successful against you. And in, in, in Virginia, they seem to have found their rhythm. You know, they struggled a little bit early, uh, but they figured out what's the best approach for them. And we just now, I think, getting to the point where we understand who we are. Uh, like we attack the basket, but we've been trying to develop um, th those those skills more consistently for the entire year. Um, Jameer's attacking the basket, then that gives you better opportunities on the perimeter when you're attacking the basket like that and then get to the foul line. Um, I, 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 what we, you know, we, we have a few fewer games to play now, so we don't have very many more opportunities to, uh, no much, much more room for error as we go on the road. We gotta learn from this game and we gotta go in uh, into Blacksburg, and we got to try to come away with a victory. Chandler Jackson had um, 17. You know, what do you think about his performance today? Chandler's playing to, to his skill set. Um, he sees the game through a, a, another set of eyes. Some guys see themselves uh, as those gaps to him now are. Uh, are opening it up for him because he's exploding into them. Uh, we have some guys on the team who have the same opportunities, not, not quite as confident as he is, and, and we need to be, we need to, we need to do, do more of that as a team, as opposed to him coming in and being the only well one or two guys who are really really attacking. Jameer Watkins is doing a good job, and, and Chandler did an excellent job tonight. You can tell he had a different look in his eye. He was more determined on the offense and defense. He got some deflections, and uh, I thought he was very active from a defense standpoint. And, uh, I'm glad to see that uh, this time of year. You've gone against that pack line a lot of times. I think y'all y'all made seventy percent of your twos tonight against that pack line, which is I mean really hard to do. Is what what do you think set the team up for success in that way? And what about that is translatable going forward? Well, I, I thought our effort and our execution was pretty good, except. Those op, those outside threes that we had the opportunity, you know, to to attempt. Uh, I mean, that's where we faulted. I mean, when you really go back and look at the game, 
Um, if they go and shoot 70% from, from two, and then shoot, I don't even want to know what that was, from, from three, I guess a team that shot 55%, then it's hard to, to overcome that, that challenge. You have a question, question sir? Uh, Darren Green Jr. had a bit of a rough uh, start to the you know, had a bit of a rough start to the game, uh, 0 for 5 from three point land, uh, 0 for 6 from the, from the field in general. But he had a couple of huge buckets later on in the second half. How important is it to have a guy that can have his number called and, and uh, perform in the lineups? Well, that's what basketball is about. Everyone's not going to be great every night. That's why we always try to win games by committing. Um, he's one of the best shooters in the nation. The night just not was was not his night. These other guys who normally shoot 36 percent, 37 percent, they had a the basket looked big for them. They shot 55 percent. You know, so that's that's why you have to have a uh, a team, a, a unit of guys that when one guy is not up to par one night, someone else steps steps in. And uh, answer, I thought we could have done a much better job of getting the ball to our to our inside guys, we're posted up. That's the area where we we can get we can improve on. And, uh, I, and I think the night second half we were much more aggressive going to the basket and attacking the rim. Now we didn't get physically much better at halftime, you know. But that's the guys were a lot more focused uh, and, and, and more confident, or out of desperation, I, one or the other, uh, that we. We locked in and, and executed that part of our game plan. And uh, unfortunately, when we got in there and we kicked it out, we, this was not our night shooting well from the perimeter. You've seen a lot of Reese Beekman over the last couple of years.